Good day and welcome back to another Talking Technical. Thank you, first of all, for all the requests and for all the people that's watching um, Talking Technical now on YouTube. And I mean, we are surprised because our market is quite strong, but we've got such wonderful requests here that we can tackle them one by one. And thank you for you sending in the request. Uh, remember, you can either send it to admin at franzdeclerc.com. You can also send it on Twitter if you want to, or even WhatsApp us on 082 996 and then we can handle it from there. Of course, we cannot do all the requests, but we will do as many as we can. First one that we want to tackle is Remgro. Now, this is one of the charts that I always watch because I love the company. And what do we see here is when the South African market is under pressure, remember Remgro is more uh, focused on the local market, you get these ugly candles like you've seen there, some big candles selling off from 142.67 all the way down to 134 in a day, because remember this is a daily chart. But if you look at this chart, there's maybe something interesting. There is a possible inverse head and shoulder here. The only thing that worries me is this 50-day moving average. The chart has just moved below that, and that 50-day moving average is sitting at 136.50. And below 136.50, I'm a little bit nervous on the chart because I just say to myself, it is a little bit negative if it goes below the 50-day moving average. But as we've seen in the past, look at it. Remgro always trades along, along this 50-day moving average. And what I like about it, there's the left shoulder, there is the head, <clears throat> sorry, there's the head, all the way from there to there, and there's the right shoulder, it's building, building on a right shoulder, but this neckline only sits at 142.10 cents. Above 142.10 cents, we can see Remgro um, playing out maybe to the top, and where can it go to? Let's quickly see. Our conservative target is that. <clears throat> And I'll tell you why I'm saying that it can maybe break up to the top because Rengro is reflecting a lot of the South African economy. And the South African economy, we as all of us know, it is almost in dire straits at the moment. So, well, if you look at it above that neckline, the conservative target will be 147 and the top of that will be 153. 20. So if you want to buy it, I think buy it only above the neckline. I will use, let's get a nice tight stop loss. I will use a stop loss of 137.84. That's about a five rand stop loss. But if you look at Remgro over the long term, it consolidates a lot. But what I like about this share, you will not get these ugly shocks of something goes horribly wrong and they're running out of cash or they need a cash injection. These guys sit on huge cash. And they always look for opportunities where to get involved to. But for this chart, I will say only above this neckline, I will get positive below that. Unfortunately, I will remain a little bit negative. Let's have a look at the top 40. Somebody asked about the top 40 <clears throat> as a request. And if you look at this chart, um, a lot of people will also say, yes, France, this is also an inverse head and shoulder brewing here. Let's have a look there. You can also see that there, it's working on, I just want to see, on the right shoulder. But for me, this 50-day moving average is crucial. That is sitting at 71,490. The only thing that worries me about this inverse head and shoulder, although South Africa has got a market where we say it's the Johannesburg Stock Exchange market, this market is actually skewed. Because there's three shares that dominates this market. And the one is Richmond, the other one is Naspers, and Process, and a few commodity shares. So for me, if I look at this chart, I always remember that if you look at this chart, you mustn't say that it's a, it is a pure South African market. It's actually an international market. I think they must rename it uh, to maybe a, a fantasy market because it doesn't reflect the normal economy. I think that Remgro chart is actually more uh, representative of our market than even this chart. But if I look at it, this right shoulder will be wiped off the table below that 50-day moving average that I showed you. And remember, this market had one massive rally from March all the way up to 
um, about April, and now it's starting to lose a little bit of momentum. Maybe it gives me an opportunity to chat a little bit on our speculation group that trades the z 40, the top 40 index on a daily basis. We use the 30-minute chart. And we derive all our signals from the 30-minute chart. And the beauty about that, if I do call something as an idea and you don't see it, maybe you don't see the inverse head and shoulder or the rising wedge or the tweezer bottom or whatever the case may be, you can always come back and say, listen, Franz, I do not get that. I don't understand where you get it from. And then I can quickly show you and assist you. And by that, you can also teach yourself to see how to trade intraday. And sometimes if you're wrong, take your stop loss. And sometimes if you're right, you will also get a few points. And on Twitter, you will see every night I always put something on, as I say, for the Aussie lovers. And that is for the speculation group to just give you guys an idea what we've made for the day and will we successful or not. Let's have a look at Avenge. Let's have a look at Avenge. <clears throat> Somebody asked about the Venge, and if I look at this chart, look at this sell-off. I mean, the sell-off all the way from, there you are, uh, 15 Rand 80 to where we are now, 9 Rand. And it looks like it's just one way to the downside, but there's a little bit of a positivity. There's maybe a possible double bottom here on the making. That low of, of 8 Rand 70, tested it again there, and there's another one. Even today, when I'm doing this pre-recording, there's a tiny little dragonfly doji. Now, a dragonfly doji is usually a positive formation, telling you that some people are buying in the dip. But for me, I will use the following. I will say, let's use this line. That will be my first sign of strength. But to play safe, I will do this. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Because we've got so many lows that's been tested. For me, this chart will only be positive above that. And that will be above 9 Rand and 40 cents. If you want to buy, buy above 940. Make use of a stop loss of 8 Rand and 50. And I mean, after that, there's many uh, targets to the top. Uh, 957, 985, 10 Rand, 10 Rand 31, and maybe as high as 10 Rand 45, 10 Rand 60. If it maybe gives us a beautiful relief bounce. So, yes, Avenge is being sold of like most South African shares. In actual fact, I think some of these shares are offering some value, although our economy is very, very, very depressed. Let's have a look at Kuro. And I can remember this is the one sector that everybody said that nothing can go wrong. Everything is just 100% that um, when, you've, when you invest in schools, Nothing can go wrong. But if I look at this chart, first of all, look at the 50-day moving average that turned into a support now. But look at the sell-off that we experienced. We've seen a sell-off all the way from 9 Rand 50 cents. Can you believe it? To the other day of 7 Rand and 3 cents. So for me, if you look at it, there's some higher lows. There's a low, a higher low, another higher low. But if you look at this, you will see that we're working here on a triangle formation or a symmetrical triangle that some people will call it. Now, a symmetrical triangle is usually a formation that posts uncertainty, that tells you that the investors are uncertain, they're not 100% sure. Now, there's one of two things that's going to happen here. Remember the trend is still to the downside. Maybe if we break below this 50-day moving average, uh, that 50-day moving average will be the first sign of warning will be 7 Rand and 70 cents, but this level is the most important one, 7 Rand and 60 cents. That will be my, my warning sign, 7 Rand and 60. Then this symmetrical triangle can maybe break to the downside and take it to this previous low of 7 Rand and 4 cents. But let's be positive. Let's hope that this 50-day moving average remain a support and we can break above this line. That is 8 Rand and 20 cents. If it breaks above 8 Rand 20, it can easily go up. And there you are. It can maybe go to 8 Rand and 62 cents. So let's hope for that. But if you do buy it above that line, I will make use of this stop loss. Let's give you the exact figure there. 7 Rand 99 makes it uh, 7.95. I sometimes wait just below that uh, psychological level, 7.95. And let's hope it reaches this target 
of close to 8 rand 65 when the symmetrical triangle breaks to the upside. Thank you for watching the show. Please drop your requests through and then we can um, handle it if we've got time. But thank you so much. All the best. And of course, we will chat again.